Evolution of Man According to scientists, the first living things appeared on the Earth hundreds of millions of years ago. These organisms were single-celled microscopic organisms that lived in water. These organisms evolved into the early fish and amphibians. These creatures lived in water. At that time, water bodies were bigger than they are now, so more of the Earth was covered by water. Due to climatic changes, the water bodies began to dry up and reduce in size, many of the organisms died. Some of those that remained adapted to living on land. They were the early reptiles. Dinosaurs evolved from these reptiles. Scientists believe that mammals, including man, evolved from small reptiles. The early mammals lived on trees. At that time there were many large forests. The mammals easily got food such as fruits, honey, eggs, leaves and insects in the forests. The forests also provided protection from some of their enemies. These mammals used their forelimbs and their tails to hold branches and move in the trees. Further climatic changes led to the reduction of forests and the increase of grassland. As a result, mammals had to evolve in order to survive in the new environment. For example, man's ancestors no longer had tails because they were unnecessary in the grassland. Also, they began to walk on two legs instead of four. Walking on two legs is called bipedalism. This mode of movement made it easier to see over the tall grass. In addition, the arms were free to be used for defense, making tools and hunting. An upright position helped to cool the body as well because less of the body surface was exposed to the sun. Fossil evidence shows that. 1. The skulls of man's ancestors gradually became bigger until they reached their current size. This indicates that their brains became bigger and they became more intelligent. 2. The jaws and teeth changed in shape and size. Early man had large jaws and teeth for tearing and cutting roots and tough fibers. These teeth were also used as weapons against enemies. 3. Man's forearms and hands became shorter and more suitable for his upright posture. His thumb changed as well. It became stronger and more separated from the other four fingers. This enabled him to grip tools better. 4. Man's feet and toes became shorter, because he did not need them to hold on to tree branches. Also, the shape of his feet changed in order to maintain body balance when standing or moving. Man is believed to have undergone the following stages during evolution. Scientists use fossils from various sites to explain what man's ancestors were like at each stage. Australopithecus The word Australopithecus means southern ape man. Australopithecus is believed to have lived around 4 million years ago. Fossils have been found in Old Uve Gorge, Lidali and near Lake Natron in Tanzania, near Lake Spiringo and Turkana in Kenya. Amo River Valley and Hadar in Ethiopia, and Tong in Botswana. Several types of Australopithecus have been discovered, including Australopithecus anamensis, Australopithecus afarensis, Australopithecus africanus, Australopithecus robustus and Australopithecus boisei. Physical Features Australopithecus was man's first bipedal ancestor. His legs and pelvis were more like modern man's than an ape's. For example, his big toe was close to the other four toes, making his foot more suited for walking than grasping tree branches. The various types of Australopithecus were of different builds, some tall and heavy, others light and slender. However, they were all hairy. The hair on the body served as protection against the cold and the rough environment. Australopithecines had an average brain capacity of 500 cubic centimeter, 500 cm to the power of 3. They had bony brows and low foreheads. Their eyes were deep set and had stereoscopic vision, which enables accurate judging of distances. Their incisors were small and the molars had flat tops like those of a herbivore. Fun fact The large jaws of Australopithecus led him to be nicknamed the Nutcracker Man. His big jaws suggest that he was always chewing. Way of life. The upright posture enabled Australopithecus to see danger from a distance. It also freed his hands for defending himself, attacking enemies and holding objects. At this stage, man was a scavenger and a gatherer. 
He ate the remains of caught by carnivores as well as fruits, nuts and raw tubers. Australopithecus evolved into Homo habilis. Homo habilis. Homo means man-like. Homo habilis means handyman or man with ability. This name came from the fact that at this stage man could make and use tools. Homo habilis emerged 2.5 to 1.5 million years ago. Fossils of Homo habilis were found in Old Uve Gorge in 1964 by Jonathan Leakey. Other remains have been found in Hadar and Amo River Valley in Ethiopia and Kubi for and near Lake Turkana in Kenya. Physical features This man had a brain capacity of 500 cubic centimeter, 500 cm to the power of 3, to 800 cubic centimeter, 800 cm to the power of 3. His skull had the same shape as that of modern man. Homo habilis had a thumb like modern man's. It enabled him to grip tools with precision. However, he was short with disproportionately long arms compared to modern man. These arms made his appearance more ape-like than human. The face was less protruding than his ancestors. Also, he had smaller molars and a thinner jaw. Way of life of Homo habilis Homo habilis made the first crude tools from pebbles. Pebbles are smooth stones found in water or near water. These tools were produced by striking one stone against another. The tools were used as weapons, scrapers and choppers. Homo habilis was omnivorous. This means that he ate both plants and animal flesh. He got his food by scavenging and gathering. Homo habilis evolved into Homo erectus. Homo erectus. Homo erectus means upright man. The name comes from the fact that this man could walk on two legs with his back straight. Homo erectus inhabited the earth between 2 million and 200 thousands, 200 thousand, years ago. Fossils have been found in Isimila near Iringa. Others have been dug up in Alorjasil and near Lake Turkana in Kenya. Remains of Homo erectus have been found as far as Algeria, Morocco, South Africa, France, Spain, Hungary, India and China. The most famous Homo erectus skeleton is of a young female commonly called Lucy, that was found in Hadar, Ethiopia. Physical Features of Homo Erectus Homo Erectus could walk on two legs while upright. His height was about 5 feet and 6 inches. He had a larger brain than Homo habilis, about 700 cubic centimeter, 700 cm to the power of 3, to 1,250 cubic centimeter, 1,250 cm to the power of 3. In addition, he was able to communicate through speech. Way of life of Homo erectus. Homo erectus lived in groups of 30 or more. They hunted as a team. This man also made carefully chipped tools. These tools included spearheads for hunting and hand axes for cutting and scraping. Homo erectus also discovered fire. This development changed man's life greatly, enabling him to cook, work at night and warm himself on cold days. Homo erectus evolved into Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens means intelligent man or thinking man. This man lived between 200 thousands, 200 thousand, and 50 thousands, 50 thousand, years ago. Fossils have been found in Galoba in Tanzania, Eli Springs near Lake Turkana, Kanjura and Kanam in Kenya, Amo River Valley and Bodo in Ethiopia, and various places in Europe and Asia. Physical features of Homo sapiens Homo sapiens had a brain capacity of 1,000 cubic centimeter, 1,000 cm to the power of 3, to 1,800 cubic centimeters, 1,800 cm to the power of 3. His brain and skull were very similar in shape to modern man's. He had small teeth and a sharply receding forehead. This man was less than 6 feet tall and walked upright on long straight legs. Way of life of Homo sapiens. At this time man lived by hunting, gathering and fishing. He also learned how to domesticate plants and animals. Unlike his predecessors, he did not eat raw food he used fire to cook. Homo sapiens made tools from bone, wood and stone. These tools are called microliths because of their small size. Homo sapiens lived in caves and was a painter. At this stage. Man also took care of the young and the sick and performed ritual burials for the dead. 
Homo sapiens evolved into Homo sapiens sapiens. Homo sapiens sapiens. Homo sapiens sapiens is modern man. Homo sapiens is believed to have evolved into Homo sapiens sapiens about 50,000, 50,000 years ago. This man has a large brain and great intelligence. He is able to think about the past, plan for the future and discover things through research. For example, modern man has invented many machines and found cures for many diseases.